everyone. Who's excited to learn about engineering? Does anyone want to guess about what type of engineering we'll be learning about this week? That's right. This week we will be learning about aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineers build things that can fly. Airplanes, rocket ships, satellites, you name it. So let's dive into this activity. All you will need are your hands and four sheets of paper. So this paper can be old tests or old worksheets. Uh, no need to get something new. We are going to be folding paper airplanes and seeing what parts of the plane determine whether it will fly fast or slow, whether it will spin or fly straight, and how long it stays in the air. And in order to describe our experiment, we're going to need to know some aerospace engineering terms. Our first term is aerodynamics which is how easily an aircraft moves through the air. So as an example, run your palm through the air perpendicular to the ground so that your thumb is facing up. Now move your hand so that your hand, palm is parallel to the ground. Which way is it easier to move your hand through the air? Also, in regards to your airplane, a more aerodynamic airplane will travel straighter and smoother. So this is something to keep in mind. Our second word is thrust, which is the power that moves an object forward through the air. For example, how does a baseball move from one person to another through the air? Thrust is created by a throw. How this helps your airplane? That depends on how hard or how soft you throw their airplane will determine how far it flies. And something to think about is, does it fly better when you throw it hard or soft? Our next term is drag. And drag is when air pushes backwards against an object or in the opposite direction of the motion. So for example, why does a feather fall slower than a small rock? The feather feels more drag. So how this pertains to your airplane is a drag force on your airplane allows it to stay in the air longer. Our next word is gravity which is a force created by the earth that stops you from floating away. <laughs> For example, uh, gravity wants to pull heavy things to the ground. This is why heavy things are harder to pick up than lighter things. How this helps out your airplane, if your airplane is light, it is more likely to stay in the air. Our last term is lift, and lift is a force that creates the upward motion of an object. So, for example, to release a kite, you would hold it high in the air so that it can take off. This is because the air underneath it creates lift. So how this helps your airplane, in order to get the best flight of your airplane, you want to release the airplane from eye level. Something to think about when you're releasing your plane is, does the plane fly differently when you release it from waist level than when you release it from eye level? And also, does the plane fly differently when you aim for the ground versus when you aim for the sky? Why do you think that is? So now that we know all these aerospace terms, let's build our airplanes. So this is going to be the how-to for the first airplane. Um, this is some random note paper. Uh, this is actually specifically engineering paper, but uh, this is for one of my mechanical engineering classes. And like, your paper can literally be anything, old tests, old quizzes, old homework, uh, you know, recycle. So, how we're going to start it off, we're going to start it off in the middle. So we're going to fold it hamburger style. And then push on it a little bit. And then we're going to stretch it out again. And fold this, fold the corners into the middle. Push on this so it'll stay. Ugh. And then we are going to flip it around so then it's like smooth on the back. So then we're going to fold it. And if you look at the instructions, it kind of does it like halfway so I'm just gonna take a guess <laughs> and fold it right there and then it says to fold it back up so again I'm gonna estimate where the middle is that's probably like right there maybe fold it up here 
And then next, we're going to fold it in half. So as you can see, my paper is like a little bit longer because I didn't fold it perfectly in half. You know what, airplanes? Paper airplanes don't have to be perfect. Have it like this, where like the pointy thing, the pointy side is on one end. Then we're going to fold it along this part. So fold it right there. And then flip it around, fold it against this part, fold right there. And then we're going to fold out our wings. So then they stick out. And then if you see in the picture, there is a little notch that they do where they stick out the wings just a little bit more. I'm gonna go like that. And there you go. It doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. It just has to fly, you know? Use from all sides. So what you're first going to do is you're going to be folding this in half, which is, I'm pretty sure this is hot dog style. And fold like that. We're not going to keep it like that, so we're going to unfold it. And then we're going to fold from these top corners into the middle. And there you go. And then we're going to put the length of this side into the middle, like so. And same on the other side. With the next step, we're going to put this point onto the middle to where this touches the corner of this. And honestly, it's okay if it crumples. Ooh. Let me flatten that. These parts. <laughs> then we're going to be folding it in half. And then how we're going to have like the shape of the wings. I'm going to unfold this part. Kind of like push on it a little bit so it stays out like that and then do the same on the other side just push down on it a little bit and push a little bit more on both sides We want to make sure that this body is the same length all the way down. So as you can see, I'm like pushing this with my fingers. And then with this other hand, I'm pushing against the wing so it'll maintain its shape. And there you go. 
This is the second airplane. Alrighty, now we're on to airplane three. So first we're gonna fold it hot dog style and make sure to crease it really well down the center. Now we're gonna open it back up and fold the right corner to the center fold. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing to the left corner. Now we're gonna do it one more time and we're gonna fold that right hand side to the center crease and then we're gonna fold the left hand side to the center crease. Now you're going to fold your whole airplane in half, making sure to crease the bottom really, really well. And then we're just going to fold over that airplane flap on the left hand side as close to the point as we can. So making sure that wing is pretty low and then we're just going to match that fold on the other side, making sure our wings are in line with one another. And now you're done. Your airplane should look like this. Alrighty, now we're going to make our last airplane, which might be the most tricky. First, you're going to fold it over hamburger style, leaving about two inches from the bottom. And then I'm also making sure to crease the folds real nice. So then I'm going and folding it in half, hot dog style. And then I'm going to open it up and fold the right corner towards the center crease. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for the left corner. Now we're going to open it up all the way and fold it like an accordion so that you have kind of like an arrow pointing. Now I'm going to fold the right hand side up towards the top to make a triangle shape. And then I'm going to do the same towards the left side. You should be left with this diamond looking piece. Now I'm going to fold the right part of the diamond into the center crease. And the left part of the diamond into the center crease as well. Make sure you crease these folds super, super well. Your plane should look something like this now. So now you're going to unfold all the parts we just folded and do an accordion-like fold once more. It's really helpful to put your pointer finger right at that middle fold like you saw right there. And then you're just going to push it down to make this really pointy shape. And then once again on the left, we're going to fold it in towards the center crease, put our finger at that middle crease, and then fold up into a super pointy shape. You might have to press down on that fold because it's going in the opposite direction. Make sure your airplane's looking like this now, and then what we're going to do is fold in that diamond shape to fold the back portion into the center fold. Then we're going to push it back over, do it to the other side. And now we're going to fold over those little pointy flaps so that we can fold over the back portion down by an inch. So Make sure that point is gone. And now we're going to put back those pointy parts and then it should be looking like this. Now we're going to fold it over in the center. And then we're going to fold over the wings as close to the point as possible. 
might be a little bit hard to fold the paper at this point because we have so many folds but I believe you can do it Alrighty, and now you've made the fourth airplane. Alright, now let's test them. Stand in the same spot and throw all of your airplanes. Which one goes the furthest? Which one went the fastest? How about the slowest? The straightest. The first one on the left didn't fly as far as the one on the right. And this can actually be due to the drag because this one is like wider on the outside and then this one flies straighter because it's more concentric and did you notice how this one spun in the air when you threw it if it didn't try throwing it harder with more thrust it should spin this one the cool little accordion flaps and then this one did you see how far this one flew this one is similar to evelyn's second one it's more narrow and long and flat and pointy. So makes it fly really, really far and straight. Good work today, everyone. You are all aerospace engineers. Feel free to email us at cpsweetelementary at gmail.com or leave a comment in the comment section below with what you learned, what excited you, and any questions you might have. Or even if you just want to say hi. Right, bye, y'all. See you next week. Mm -hmm.